Welcome to Shed Show Talk, I'm Paul and today it's time for our UFO news update from sightings across the world and at the end of the video we're going to be looking at a potential UFO invasion, yep that's correct, you heard me say it, a potential UFO invasion in Western England, what on earth is going on there? But first, our first sighting takes us to Australia in the rainforest in, and I'm going to probably mess this up when I pronounce it, Inguela? national park and this viewer actually was outside with his wife and child his child pointed up to the sky and this object that you're seeing here on the pictures was spotted uh, he noted it as a cylindrical object certainly looks like that from the still images that we've got here and it was going across the sky now what's really strange about this is that there normally isn't passenger planes or gliders or anything like that in this area so it's a really strange sighting what could this be out in the rainforest in australia let's take a look at the video he shot here God damn clouds. Wow, there we go, a really interesting sighting in the outback there. Normally we'd be asking if anybody saw it to let us know, but the population is so sparse in that area, I very much doubt that we'd get answers to what this object, what this orb could possibly be. Who knows? If you've seen something like this, however, and you think you might know what it is, send it in to us at shedshowtalk at gmail.com. All right, we have an absolute screamer of a sighting here. It's in Los Angeles. Again, California is such a hotbed of unidentified aerial phenomena right now. I'm going to call it that because there's just so many things from ships to orbs to uh, you name it. Right now, California's got it. We know we have a lot of viewers from that area. Make sure you're looking up to the skies as much as you can and sending us as many reports on this aerial phenomena that's going on over this region right now. It's really quite enormous in its magnitude in terms of sightings. And it's breaking all records. There's never been so many sightings around the world, but especially in the California region. So I'm going to pull up the original video. I've done quite a little bit of work here so we could actually get to see these things closer up. So I'm gonna run the original video right here. Here's the original video. So you can see this is in some kind of parking lot right here. And if you haven't seen what he's videoing here, don't worry too much. What I've done is I've gone to the area in question on the video. I just wanted to show you the original. I've gone to the area in question here. You can see these triangular lights here. So keep looking in that area. I'm just gonna play this video a couple of times so you can actually see this. It's broad daylight. You can imagine how bright these lights would be at night. Now, the guy reporting this reports that these lights are changing color as well, which we, we just don't see on the footage that we've got here, but he says that they're a copper shape as well as a, a bright white light shape. And again, I, I've zoomed in on these on a photograph, so I'm gonna go and cut to the still image of this, but that's just incredible. Imagine walking out and, and seeing these lights in, in the sky, just absolutely incredible. You can see here uh, on this still footage, 
where those lights are. If you still can't see them, I circled them for you. And there's just lots of different lights going off in in that area of the sky. This is really quite phenomenal to see this kind. Let's take a listen to the witness sighting. So three witnesses observed five glowing pinpricks of light alternating copper and silver in color, hovering over, converging, and then moving apart, clear in the late morning sky. They were still there when we had to depart and return to work. We were in the Walk of Fame area of Hollywood, and the lights appeared in the northeastern direction. We went inside, recruited several of the co-workers who also observed the light. What are these things? They've, they've obviously stayed in the air. They're not balloons or anything like that. These are way too bright in the daylight to be just... I mean, if this was dark, you would be seeing right here such enormous amounts of light coming from these objects. It would be a real light show. And it sounds like they've been here for such a long period of time that many, many people must have seen this. This has to be a mass sighting over California. Let us know in the comments below if that's why you've come on YouTube to see if anybody else saw what you saw in the sky. Let us know if you saw this. This is really amazing footage of these lights. And again, I'm just showing the zoomed in version of this sighting over LA in California that's been just such a hotbed of activity. Let us know in the comments what you guys think this is. I'm stunned by this video. This is one of the best that I've seen of an unexplained aerial phenomena. Okay, our final sighting, I, I guess final story, comes from Yeovil in West Country in England. And strangely enough, yesterday, Beth did a video, which I'm going to link in the description of this video below, of two children that came out of a cave or an underworld, if you like, and integrated into society in the UK. It's a really interesting video. Beth went into a lot of detail with regards to it. But in this area of Yeovil was a bus driver that was driving his route and at a bus stop, what you're seeing here is a picture, a sketch of, of what he saw at this bus stop waiting for him. Now, who knows what an alien would be doing, especially wearing a cowboy hat, as I guess he put it, at a bus stop. I mean, where on earth was he going to go? I'm, I'm not certain, but it, this is the bus stop that's in, in question right here where this alien was supposedly seen. And there'd been a lot of reports of alien invasion. There's a video floating around somewhere in this area of, of what was thought to be an alien invasion that later turned out to be a weather phenomena. But it's all very strange what's going on. And here's the headlines from the Express in the UK, uh, talking about alien invasion, upsurge in UFO sightings rocks West Country. And there is some video footage here. Let's, let's take a look at this video of, of some of the recent sightings uh, that have taken place over this area. Undoubtedly, there is some kind of uh, unexplained aerial phenomena. There's UFOs out there. Uh, and then there's these stories of aliens on the ground uh, at a bus stop. I mean, you guys can make your own mind up what you think of that, uh, and especially his his drawing there. But here's the video. This video is courtesy also of Gloucestershire Live. And it's a really good video footage here. It looks like almost a eye-shaped UFO right here. I mean, undoubtedly there's activity going on in this area and it almost feels like the 
Look at that. Almost feels like the mainstream media are making a joke of it. But that is a... See this? What is that? It's just flashing at a distance. Alright, so there we go. Definitely a hotbed of activity in that area. I'm not quite sure if it deserves the headlines that the Express would give it. And I, I really do feel that there is something going on in the area. But what that could be, we just don't know at this stage. I mean, be sure to check out Beth's video of the Children of the Greek. It's a really interesting story that that's, that's taking place there. And, you know, there's definitely something strange out there. If you live in the area, uh, make sure you are ready to record at uh, any time. Who knows what could be out there? And if you do come across an alien at the bus stop, send them my way. I'd love to interview them and talk about many different things. But snap a picture of them, get them on video. Sketch drawings are, are really not great evidence to support the theory that you've you've met up with an alien but supposedly the bus driver hasn't slept since that sighting again thanks for watching our videos here at shed show talk we really appreciate it me and beth are working really hard to get to the bottom of some of these stories and i'm going to be looking back at the nuclear material that's been caught in europe and see where that leads us. I checked it out the other day. There'd been no further developments on it. Uh, I sent a couple of emails off to some people on the ground out there to see if they could find anything for us. Very, very interesting uh, stuff that's coming out here. Don't forget, hit subscribe on your way out. And again, as always, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. Keep your eyes to the sky and be ready to record at any time, or I guess in this case, to any bus stops and be ready to record at any time.